New at five this week is Work Zone Safety Awareness Week. And with road work being done all across the state of Indiana, the Indiana Department of Transportation is using it to remind drivers to be aware in construction zones. 44 News reporter Claire Dugan has more. Well, we all know it's easy to get frustrated driving on a roadway like this one, maybe even a little impatient, but doing anything other than slowing down and staying calm can be dangerous for everyone on the road. When you hear Work Zone Safety Awareness Week, you might think of construction workers and road crews, but authorities say this week impacts everyone. In fact, most accidents in work zones don't involve workers at all. NDOT says nationally, four out of five people killed in work zones are drivers and passengers, not highway workers. In 2023, one 1,747 people were injured in Indiana work zones. Over the past decade, 269 people have been killed in work zones or work zone backups, including motorists and workers. In Northwest Indiana, it's a problem they're focused on fixing. We had quite a few crashes in work zones last year. Uh, we had 33 fatalities, unfortunately, from crashes in work zones and quite a few more injuries than that. So this is definitely something that we're taking very seriously and we want people to be aware that they need to slow down in work zones. Authorities say they see a lot of violations of traffic laws in Indiana work zones, primarily speeding, tailgating, unsafe lane movement, and distracted driving. That's why this fall, NDOT is introducing their new work site speed control pilot program. The Indiana State Police would help NDOT install cameras in four different locations in the state at any given time that would take pictures of license plates of cars going 11 miles per hour or more over a posted speed limit in an active work zone. Well, in Indiana, there there are steep penalties for drivers who violate traffic laws in work zones, including thousands of dollars in fines and in some cases, even jail time. Reporting in Evansville, Claire Dugan, 44 News.